Hello everyone and welcome to your channel TechWine. In this video, I will provide you the solution for this lab. Start the lab. Now log into the cloud console using the incognito window. Search for BigQuery. Open this. Click on done. Click on this add button, then connect to external data sources. Now for the connection type, choose big lake and remote functions. For the connection ID, simply go back to the lab and in the first task, you will find this connection ID. Paste it. Click on create connection. Now let's move on to the second task. If you are not getting the green tick for this task, simply proceed. Now click on this arrow. Then open external connections. Double click on this. And you will see this service account ID. Simply copy it. Now search for I am. Open this. Click on grant access, then simply paste the service account that we copied. For roles, we have to choose storage object viewer. Search for it. Select the option and simply click on save. Ok, our policy is updated. Now you can go back to the lab and check the progress for second and first task. For the third task, we have to create a data set. Simply copy the data set name. Again go back to the BigQuery. Click on create data set. Paste the ID. Then click on create. And your data set is also created. Click on actions. Then create table. Now choose the Google Cloud Storage, click on Browse, open your project ID and you will see this customer.csv, simply select it. For the table name, go back to the lab and copy this table name. For table type, choose the external table, now select this checkbox. Now we will provide the schema. For the schema you can go back to the lab and copy this schema. Paste it and click on create table. Now you can skip the task 4 and task 5. Directly move to the task 6. Again click on demo data set then create table. Choose the Google Cloud Storage, click on Browse, open Project ID, now choose the invoice.csv, for table name go back to the lab and copy this table name, again for the table type you have to choose external table, now for the schema, simply go back to the lab. Then copy the schema, paste it, then create your table and once it is done you can go back to the lab and check the progress for this task. Now copy this command, open the cloud shell, paste it and hit enter. Again go back to the lab, copy the second command. Simply run it. Run the next command. Now you can go back to the lab and check the progress. Hopefully this video solution was helpful to you. If you are not getting the green tick for this, simply wait for few seconds and after that again check your progress.